Welcome back. Prince Charles is getting personal and opening up about his life. In a rare exclusive interview with CNN's Max Foster, the future king talks about his 10 year marriage to Camilla and their trip next week to the United States. On the agenda, another visit to the White House. Here's some of Max's exclusive interview. The Prince of Wales just doesn't do interviews very often, and when he does, he doesn't want to talk about anything personal, but he's decided to do so now. So he invited us into his home in Scotland to do just that. I must admit, uh, quite a lot of the presidents of the United States. And quite often, those encounters have taken place at the White House during Charles's tours of the United States. It's a country that you've visited many times, officially and privately. It must be a country you're very fond of. I think I've been 20 times or something now in the last 45 years. And um, just shows how old I'm getting now. As Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall prepared for their upcoming four-day tour of the US, he granted me an exclusive interview, and he shared memories of past visits. I remember the first time was we were invited to stay, my sister and I, in 1970 at the White House by President Nixon for the weekend. That was quite too. Amusing, I must say. That was the time when they were trying to marry me off to Trisha Nixon. Ten years ago, Camilla joined Charles, their first official overseas visit. <laughs> 2005, your first joint overseas tour with your, your new mm. wife, the Duchess mm. of Cornwall. What are your memories of that? visit. <laughs> well, I remember we had a very, very jolly time in California, I seem to remember. And, um, I mean, they were all so friendly there. Thank you for coming, sir. It'll be interesting next week to see how Americans accept the royal couple on their tour, which starts in Washington, D.C. next week, because 10 years ago, when Camilla first did a tour of the United States, there was quite a lot of negativity. They were comparing her to Diana. Diana fans were holding up very vicious placards in places. But I think certainly Brits have warmed to Camilla over the last decade, and it'll be interesting to see whether Americans have done the same.